Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy NATO and I've just been chilling today. I got my uh some tail lights, some headlights. I've been making all these upgrades to the vehicle that you guys have never even seen. So um I really I don't know, I just never make videos like this. If you guys do want to see more videos like this, let me know down below because I'm 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 keeping this truck, this small little truck that I have here, it's a little single cab Dodge 2009. And um, I've already made an exhaust to it. Put, I mean, I've already put a exhaust on it to make it sound a little bit better. Now, it's not a big engine at all. It's not real quick, but I am just going to make it look good. And eventually, I am going to put a bigger engine in it. And I'm going to make it super fast. So, you know, for a truck. <clears throat> so, uh, it's a little 5.7. If you're wondering what this flower is, <laughs> all of a sudden just popped in the frame. It was my uh, grandmother's funeral. And um, so, I just... I always have it there, it just reminds me of her when I'm driving and stuff, and just it's just one of those things that I like having around. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, I'm making some upgrades. I got some uh, tinted tail lights and headlights right there. LEDs cost a pretty penny, almost a grand. Um, so, yeah, the main thing of this video was just talking about my truck and uh, what happened yesterday. I haven't got to that yet, but yeah, so there's that. Yesterday was pretty crazy. You had a little breakdown, you know, just about life. Yeah, and he hit me yet. <laughs> so that's the funny part that I was breaking down over something. But, you know, I have a special relationship with, uh, you may, uh, I have a special relationship with God. And I, uh, I just didn't know where I was at. And all of a sudden yesterday, I just had the thought in my head, like, I wasn't going to be here much longer. Like it just popped in my head like I felt like I was going to die soon. And it, it just tore me apart. I don't know. I just felt like I was going to die. Like I was going to die. Like it's hard to explain. Like I felt like soon I was going to die somehow. And then I also had thoughts of me just like killing myself. Like why should I even be here? What's my purpose? I have a reason to be here. I want to live for uh, God and stuff. But um and I am, I'm not going to hurt myself, but I'm just saying like those thoughts encounter my head and I have to counter them and keep them out of my head. And I, so I just pray and I, I legit drove for an hour in the little circle town that I live in, just talking to God, myself, myself and God, just like talking to myself, you know, and then I was talking to God. Now, guys, I know you may not believe in God and I understand that because some people aren't raised around him. Or, you know, raised with it. You may not even go to church or nothing. And I understand that. I'm not going to judge anyone because it's not my place to judge. Nobody should ever judge unless you, I mean, like God. God can judge. But um, I'm just saying, if you don't believe in God, it's okay. But it's not okay because you do need to find a way to reach him. Because he is totally real. And I know I say that and some people are like, bro, how is he? How is he real? Show me proof. Well, I can't show you proof physically, like right then and there, but I can tell you this. There was one time, I'm going to tell you a story, okay? And it's not made up, it's true. I didn't understand something. Oh, I better turn on my, I better start, start my truck and charge my phone because it's about to die. Okay, there we go. Little V6 engine. So, uh, yeah. I'll better turn my radio down and you guys are going to get copyright, you know? <laughs> get my channel striked. So, uh, yeah, there's that part. And, well, what was I talking about? Oh my gosh. But, I mean, things happen in life. And, oh yeah, I was back to my story. So, what happened was, I really didn't understand something. This is back when my grandma was alive, before she passed away a few months back. I was like, hey, Nana. Nana. I, call her, I called her Nana. And I was like, hey, Nana. How how do you make it to heaven you know i just i didn't understand i got pro like prosified a few days after that it was real crazy there no i don't know if it was in the same weekend but the next weekend after that or two weeks after that i can't remember but the story was i didn't understand i wanted to live for god and serve the lord and i just asked my i asked my grandma I asked Nana, I was like, hey, Nana, how do I make it? How do I get there? You know, 
And that was Saturday night. Saturday night on a weekend. You know, it was just me and her talking about it. And we read a little bit, talked a little bit. She even explained how, you know, when we got there, we started talking about if we did make it and how we would enjoy it together and, and stuff like that. And the next morning we went to church at her fellow church there in the small her small town. She lives in a different town, or did. She's not there anymore. But when she was there, it was a small little town, a lot smaller than the one I'm in. I'm a small town right now. I'm in a small town, but that one's a lot smaller. But we went to their little fellow, you know, church there. Church of the Firstborn. You may have heard of them or not. If not, Google them. They're uh, Church of the Firstborn. And I went there as a kid a lot. And well, she went there all the time during her childhood and life and all, like for her full life. And well, she actually, uh, when we went there the next morning, the preacher there, his name's Chuck, he actually started talking about it. He started talking about how we make it to heaven. So he started it off. He's like, that morning, he had no clue we talked about it the night before last. And that was a total day of church just for me. And I thought it was just awesome, you know. I didn't really realize it either at the time. Uh, my uncle, he was like, dude, because he knew about it too. But no one told him to talk about that. Like, it was just God. God just wanted us. He wanted that to explain to me. So he told he didn't tell Chuck anything. It was just there. Like, it just happened. And it answered me. And now I know how to serve the Lord and this and that and live good. And it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. Um, but, yeah, back to, the, like, yesterday, I really don't know what was put in my head. Honestly, I think it was the devil. Because the devil tries to target God's children more than the people that already don't believe. See, he wants to target the people that are living for the Lord he wants to take them down. He wants to make their life a living shithole, okay? I'm going to cuss because it's just, I have to. <laughs> like, there's no other way to put it. He's going to make your life hell, okay? And you got to fight that, okay? I, I, I fight it all the time. These bad thoughts in my head, and I just pray, get them out of here, you know? So, I mean, there's a lot more to my life than just, you know, going to school, going to work, you know, I mean, not really, but going to school, going to work, playing video games, making YouTube videos, hanging out with my buds, you know, hanging out with my friends. And there's more to that. But it's more than just that. Like, I'm always having a constant battle, okay? I ain't right now. I don't know when my next battle is going to be, but I'm always having a battle. It's always going to happen. So I just want you guys to know what's been going on. And I just want to put this little story out there, a little life, you know, situation I had. Um, so there's that. And I like, and I'll make another video on another thing, like just things I want in my life. Like I want to before I die, I at least want to meet someone, you know, like a girl that is that believes in God, like I do. And if she doesn't, I can get her to believe in God, where we can just pray together. Like that's like that's like that's something I really want. I want a strong relationship and communication, and live for the Lord together, as two. I mean, us two is one, but, you know, serving the Lord together and just have that type of relationship, I think it would be amazing. And I really, I'm praying for that. I want, I want that. Um, yeah. So, that's what's been going on, guys. I don't know what you guys have been up to. I hope you guys are doing okay. I, uh, I'm going to start praying for you guys, too. I mean, prayers and praying is just a strong thing. So, I'm going to pray for you guys. I've even prayed for a subscriber or a guy I used to play Ark with. Surprisingly, we had a weird experience over uh, Party Chat. I'll explain that later in a different video. <laughs> that was a crazy time in my life last summer. So, uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys from school are watching this, cool. Come talk to me anytime. We can talk about God and all kinds of stuff. So, I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Adios, amigos.